Our good friend, Corinne Jean-Pierre, I wanted to make sure we played this for those of you who missed it. Uh, yesterday in the White House, they had the cast of, oh, what's the uh, the, the soccer Apple show uh, that everybody's watching about the American college football coach who goes uh, over to England and becomes a Premier League coach. Uh, they had that whole crew all visiting the White House. Um, and they're all standing around and everybody's like kind of losing their, uh, losing their minds over, uh, over that show. And simultaneously we had people start to ask questions, get upset that they're not getting called on. And this was today news, Africa, uh, Simon Atiba. Uh, he had a heated exchange during opening statements with the Ted Lasso cast um, listen to this. No, 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 that's not, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. You've been discriminating against me and discriminating against some people in the briefing room. And I'm saying that this is the U.S. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is not Russia. Okay. What you are doing, you are making a monthly of the first amendment. It's been seven months. You've not called on me. You've not got my message yet. I'm saying that that's not right. Fun times. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the press briefing room. Okay. Are we ready? Are we going to behave? While many folks... Seven months he hadn't been called on, Buck. Sorry to our guests. We apologize. Yes, I apologize. I apologize. Okay. Oh, Apologies oh. to the Ted Lasso cast. Oh, okay. No, notice all the journos. This 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 is man is is a is a journalist who's been there for seven months. Hasn't been called on once. Okay, he's African, and all the journos in the room, uh, if it wasn't the Biden administration up there, I can assure you, would not have been basically telling him, shut up, stop talking, and apologizing for him wanting to actually be able to do his job. I you know I stand with Simon at Atiba. This guy's awesome. I, I think what he did yesterday was fantastic. Well, also then they apologized because th these are just such bootlicking losers. Uh, this is Zeke Miller at the AP apologizing to Corinne Jean-Pierre and America for the White House outburst you just heard. Thanks, Greg. First, a quick moment of personal privilege here. I just want to express uh, our apologies to the press corps, to the folks watching at home for the display we saw earlier. Our responsibility is to them. They're here to ask questions on their behalf to hold their government accountable. Oh, you, I hate that guy. I don't even know who he is, but I, I mean, what a loser that guy is. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Like, oh, teacher, do you know when the substitute was here? We didn't have to do the work that you otherwise would have assigned. I would like to apologize on behalf of the whole class. What a loser that I mean, guy the, the is. The press corps, I, I remember, you know, Kaylee McEnany is a friend of mine, and she was a phenomenal press secretary under Trump. And I mean, I remember they were, it was just, you know, just going attack every day, oh, yeah. attack, attack, attack. Oh, but, but now somebody who has, no one, by the way, denies what he says that he hasn't been called on in seven, seven months. months is a long, a long time, time to show up at press okay? briefings and if, not if get called on. If he had said on. it had been a week and he hadn't been called on, I'd be like, all right, like there's a lot of people in there. It's been seven months. Clearly they're not giving this gentleman his due and, and all the press were, oh, we're sorry. We have such a. Would we do such a better job in here than that? A bunch of babies, honestly. And also, though. is there anything more to draw attention to yourself than to say, we're not here for ourselves to draw oh, Simon Otiba or whatever the guy's name. That's the, maybe the conflict guy. I want to make sure I get this guy's name right. Zeke Miller. I'm, I'm Zeke Miller. I'm not really here to draw attention to myself. Zeke Miller, AP. But, you know, on behalf of Zeke Miller, AP, I just want to apologize to the American people. We're here to do the work for you to ask the questions that you aren't able. No, you're not. You're not asking any questions that I would like to have asked. I mean, just what a loser that guy is. I, I don't know anything about Zeke Miller other than he is a tremendous, massive loser. Just based on that 20-second clip. Also, any doubts? When was the last time anyone in the... It's interesting, actually, because while we point out you know, a lot, people will say that uh, Corinne Jean-Pierre is not excellent at the job based on the expectations awful of, even by low standards set by biden administration employees there you go and while that's happening it's interesting because 
that's so obvious to many people outside of the you know the the Democrat party but you'll you'll see that the strategy of putting her in that role has worked very well because not only is it friendly you know it's regime media in the audience and regime media at the podium with the White House press secretary same thing right it's not really yeah. any difference between the two of them but beyond that beyond that i think that a lot of the members of that press corps are legitimately fearful of their careers if they were to ask any tough oh, questions yeah. and push on the first uh, black female LGBTQ plus White House press secretary. They just the the optics of that for those Democrats in the audience are such that, you know, look, there there have been there have been CNN people during the Obama administration, for example, who made a career for themselves by asking one real question like every three or four. But like they would actually kind of because it was good for them. And it wasn't going to really undermine the regime. And everyone kind of knew the game, right? CNN, ABC, some of those reporters would do that. When was the last time you saw someone who wasn't, you know, from Fox or from a, you know, Peter Ducey outlet? does a, the best job by right. far. Other than him, it's almost impossible to name someone. I can't think of anybody who has pressed on this White House press secretary uh, in, a, in a real way, you know, has really pressed her on an issue. Uh, from Democrat media. I can't think of one. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but not really. No, you're 100% right, because that's how you lose your job. Remember the woman at MSNBC who asked the questions of John Fetterman, Fetterman and then she I came know. out and she was like, he can't even speak. I mean, you know, I he know. didn't do very well. He just the, actually told the truth and they attacked her. All the journos circle the wagons and they were basically yep. saying it out, the quiet part out loud, how dare you? Don't you know we have to win this Senate seat for the Democrats? This whole journalism thing is a scam. We all know that. And now, where's John Fetterman? He's in the treatment. Oh, vanished. Yeah. Well, Can't do the, the job. Yeah.